What's good? It's Kev with KevWestBeats.com here to do another tutorial video on Reason. Uh, this particular video I'm going to talk about navigation in Reason 6. And this works the same in Reason Essentials for those of you that want to pick it up. It's $100. You don't get all the devices in Reason, but it's a damn good deal because um, you get everything you need to make music, just like they say. Um, and if you need an audio interface, you know, get the extra $300 and you have a fairly complete studio. Anyway, um, navigation and reason. We're getting lost with the SSL mixer and how to create channels. Um, so first thing I'm going to start off with, you have to remember the SSL mixer is three separate windows. You can uh, go through those windows on the fly by on your QWERTY keyboard. You press F5, that'll get you to the SSL mixer. F6 will get you to your traditional reason rack. F7 will get you down to the sequencer. Okay, um, and then from there, it's just really a matter of, you know, working as, working as normal. The uh, other question I have been getting a lot is about the SSL mixer itself. And the SSL mixer itself, you don't need to create your separate channel strips. The way it works is when you create an instrument for reason, like, so, you know, I'll create 98. You see, you get the extra ID8 channel right here. It creates it by itself when you create the channel. So you create the channel. Here's my rack view again. Here's my ID8, my mix channel. That's the actual channel strip or the mixer channel that you would see like on the traditional mixer and reason. Um, this time you're getting it in the form of the channel strip. And when you get the mix channel or audio channel, it automatically creates a channel again in the SSL and reason. Um, that was one question I was asked. Uh, another question I was asked was about um, sequencing pattern-based devices and using a combinator in particular. And the reason why this is difficult, I think, for some people is they don't really get that like, the combinator isn't a pattern-based device. Um, you have two options here. I'm going to create a combinator and show you what I mean. Let me, where do I, I'm going to read German here. There we go. Just to show you, okay, you have your your patterns, of course, your choices, four category patterns, eight actual patterns, and then your step sequences. Well, when you create your patterns down here, since it's a combinator, you know, it's a little difficult. What you can do is create blocks. That's what I suggest to most people is, you know, if you create a block, then, you know, you do your um, basic composing in the block, just to give you an idea, I'll just draw in some quick random notes. Like I say, it's supposed to really sound like anything. I don't even have any sounds loaded. Just to give you an idea so we can create this block. You have block one, then block two. And then when you go back to the song mode, now you see you have block one up here pattern A right here, if you were using a pattern based sequencer on there. Otherwise, you just paint each block in there. So that's block one with the pencil tool, and there's block two, and you switch back and forth at, um, like so. Um, what I suggest to most people is if you're going to work this way, do your pattern A in the from the redrum. You now you can just drop that right in there. And the way you would do that is when you create your pattern, so let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, when you create your pattern, let me just do a random pattern because again, I'm not, this is more for tutorial reasons than anything else. You, there's a button here that says copy pattern to track. So you randomize the drum track, scroll down here, copy pattern to track. Now what that's going to do now is copy that pattern to your um, block. And then when you're ready to move on to your next pattern, just move on to that pattern and do the same thing in another block. That I think is probably the easiest way to get around to it without um, having to set up automation channels on the um, mixer, which can get complicated um, when you're dealing with the, com with the combinator and a 
direct free drum. Versus if you just use the read drum outside of itself, then, you know, like I said, there wouldn't be a problem then. Because you just use it as normal, you know, chord, click the pattern, click the next pattern, etc. Um, I'll show you that too. Versus if you were working, like I say, if you were just going to create it as normal. You'd click each pattern. 